I'm Kat Miller and this is Dice TV. Mobile development is white hot and tech college grads face a number of challenges and questions. What platforms should I be on? What tools and techniques should I know or be learning? Where should I focus my time when looking for a job? Should I be concentrating on app store stuff or spending more time romancing the big picture enterprise model? Let's start with the basics of mobile platforms and tools. Platforms. The dominant mobile platforms right now are Apple's iOS and Google's Android. Microsoft's Windows Phone 7 and RIM's BlackBerry OS round out the top four. Basic logic tells us that familiarity with one or several of these platforms, it just gives you the best chance for new employment. Deep knowledge of software and application development on traditional notebooks and servers will help you make the jump to the pocket-sized smartphones. Writing code, whether for mobile phone applications or web pages, is still going to require some kind of network notebook or desktop machine because typing and debugging of code just isn't practical on a smartphone. Developers who can make applications that work seamlessly across multiple platforms will definitely be in high demand. And trends at the service provider or the carrier level should definitely figure into your mobile development professional plan also. The actions of telecoms and networking companies can have profound effects on the industry. Tools. Programming languages for mobile development aren't much different from the ones used in traditional PC and web development. In fact, even if you aren't in purely mobile development, much of the programming might already be familiar to you. The common languages include JavaScript, HTML, HTML5, CSS, XML, C, C++, Java, Objective-C, C Sharp, PHP, Python, and .NET. Common programming environments include Eclipse and Ruby on Rails. Opportunities. As tablets and smartphones make their way into the enterprise, understanding how to deploy and manage them is becoming increasingly important, so there's more demand for professionals who can oversee those efforts. Resource management for both notebooks and smartphones usually falls under the operations umbrella, so all you new grads out there may also want to get some experience in operations in addition to programming. I'm Kat Miller, and this is Dice TV.